I'm back yet again. <laughs> Check this out. Now, this is the type of reaction I was looking for. This is hydrogen peroxide. Now, see that? All right. So you can kind of see the degree of reactivity. I mean, this is like you had an awful wound, right? And you put hydrogen peroxide in it versus over here where, yes, we have bubbling, but it's nowhere near as severe. So in this case, I do see pyritization. I do believe we've got some sulfide action here, but this might be one of those examples where it has to do with biologic or biogenic materials as well. This is also a piece of mineralized wood from a different part of the ranch. Let's see what the back looks like. Oh yeah, see? And again, I need to get clarification on that because I'm not totally certain what type of activity they're speaking of if it's not, you know, a carbonate. Yeah, pretty good example. There it is. That's what I wanted to show you. <laughs> so hydrogen peroxide, it will break this down and strip it of some of its, uh, you know, this coloring, this coating. Um, but this is definitely indicative of sulfides, pyritization, pyrites, the sulfide, um, and probably some biologic material. So... I mean, I guess it is biologic, right? It's petrified wood, but I'm going to learn a little more about that. But that's the reaction that I was hoping to find. Really good example of hydrogen peroxide on a mineral specimen, particularly a fossil, such as mineralized wood. All right. Stay tuned for more testing tips on Tuesday as you join me, Mickey B, on my gem journeys and rock adventures. Thanks again. Happy Tuesday. And please send me questions, comments, suggestions, and so forth. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great day. Thanks again and rock on.